and we'll be getting into an interesting discussion around the manufacturing sector in the country and we'll be speaking to Mr. Michael Sinclair, the General Manager for Big East Africa. We'll be having that conversation in a short while. But first, let's take you on a very interesting report that was released today by Ernst & Young and it is emerging that many Kenyans aren't aware of the data protection or privacy policies as provided for in the Data Protection Act of 2019. This is according to a recent survey by Ernst & Young Africa that sought to understand data privacy tendencies in the country. Data Commissioner Immaculate Kasait now implores Kenyans to readily avail their to not to readily avail info unnecessarily unless it is vital, even as the government through her office works towards enacting more regulations on data protection and privacy. Organizations uh, view, uh, you know, when they're looking at their digital transformation strategy, and this question was, has your digital transformation strategy taken into consideration the key requirements of the Act and other data privacy and protection regulations and legislations? So, yes, 86% um, uh, of, of the respondents were in the affirmative as a yes, and 14% um, were actually no. Uh, and then when we're looking also just to find out what aspects of the strategy are, were also aligned to the requirements of the Act, some of the responses that we got was, number one, process of onboarding customers was ideally infused, uh, privacy by design, data protection policy, cloud adoption, consent management, and disclosure of information. And uh, if we all basically... You need to explain to the people you're collecting information from, whether you're clients, whether you're in the fintech, whether you're a, a financial, whether you're in insurance, what are we collecting this information for? What will it be used for? How will you process it? And how will it be stored? And how will it be disposed? So think consent, think privacy statements in your, in your, in, in your company. Think about how you will have in place privacy statement. All right, from that report, we want to dive in into our discussion now, and this touches on the manufacturing sector. And like I mentioned, we are joined now by Mr. Michael Sinclair, who is the general manager for Bake East Africa. Thank you for coming on board. Good afternoon, Abby. Thanks for the welcome and the introduction. All right. Growing up, uh, having a big pen was nothing out of the ordinary. But right now, we're moving into an interesting dispensation that we are having a pandemic that affected manufacturing, not only in Kenya, but across the world. Perhaps give us 